prominent Fort Wayne businessman and philanthropist has died. Dick Dormer was 87. Friends say he had an immeasurable impact on business and education here in Fort Wayne. News Channel 15's Adam Widener has been looking into Dick Dormer's life today, and he joins us now from Studio 15 with his story. Well, Mark and Heather, the Fort Wayne native, had a large influence on the banking industry in the area, but longtime friends say he was more than just an excellent businessman. He was someone who deeply cared about the community. We established uh, thousands of family relationships. In 1996, News Channel 15 caught up with Dick Dormer before he received his Business and Education Leadership Award. Every work experience has great value. As you go through life, they, they accumulate and they become a, a sort of a treasure chest of uh, value. You may recognize the Dormer name from local colleges. He supported St. Francis with a Dormer Family Center for Health Science Education, and IPFW School of Business is named after him. He always took advantage of opportunities, and the kind of gentle, uh, very careful way that he approached problems was something that I think our business school teaches. The businessman born and raised in Fort Wayne graduated from Southside High School, started out as a law partner, but in 1956 became executive vice president of Dime Bank, which eventually became Summit Bank. Longtime friend and chairman of Ray Magnet Wire, Jim Van, remembers Dormer's attitude toward people. I'd say he's as good as they come. Fourteen years ago, Dormer remembered the joy he had in work. And here in Fort Wayne today, his friends say though they'll miss him, his joys will be experienced by many for generations to come. More than just being a real astute, uh, ethical business person, he was a great uh, friend who was just a lot of fun. Now he is survived by his daughter Kathy, his son Richard, and five grandchildren. In Studio 15, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.